to get me into ketosis, I'm doing a three day, might turn into five day, might turn into seven day egg fast. You guys, I hope you are looking forward to my journey. October 15th. This is the day after doing a 24 hour fast. So here's negative, trace, and small. What do you guys think? Weight. BMI, body fat, muscle, water, and bone. Twenty eight and a half, twenty nine and a half, thirty three. 34, 35 and a half. 623 in the morning. Let's get started. I'm out of my organic eggs, so I just have to use some regular eggs that's here. I will show you in this video how I make my eggs because I think it's quite interesting. You let me know if you make your eggs the same way or not. Over here, I have my water boiling for my morning weight loss drink. My eggs are boiling. What I do is I put a lid on my eggs. Set my phone timer for two minutes. The alarm for my eggs has went off. I'm gonna turn the eye off and let them sit. I set my phone timer for eight minutes. In this morning weight loss drink, I am squeezing some lemon juice into the cup. I'm adding four ounces of water inside the cup. I had already placed one eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper in my mug. Now I'm adding a teaspoon of ginger to sweeten it up. I like to add a teaspoon of monk fruit. I drop two slices of lemon in the mug to complete my drink. I wanted to share with you guys that I do have high blood pressure. I take one medication. This is the only health problem that I have besides having too much body fat on my body. I just want to say when you start any new diet, please check with your health care provider. Look at those eggs. They are beautiful. I will share with you guys the rest of what I will be eating throughout the day. Now it's time for me to get in the shower before I'm late for work. I'm gonna use a real dash measuring spoon. So this is one eighth teaspoon. You have to drink this pretty fast. If you do not know, cinnamon gets thick and slimy. You would not be able to drink this. Keep that in mind, the cayenne pepper. Dash of that as well. Pick up the apple cider vinegar. This is the only brand that I have ever used that has worked for me. Two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar. See, no clumping of the cinnamon. One teaspoon 
of monk fruit. I save these tea bags because you can use them to help with the puffiness under your eyes. Make sure you drink this drink with a straw, apple cider vinegar will destroy your tooth enamel. If you are taking any kind of medications, please wait an hour after you take your medication. All right, now it's time for me to finish getting ready for work. Um, I was just thinking that I haven't ate anything since Sunday at about eight o'clock and it's Tuesday at 9.23. I do have my second cup of water and I'm going strong. Most likely I probably break my fast about noon. I'll check back with you guys and let you know how it's going. All done. That was delicious. Feeling good. See here and drink my green tea and finish my water. And I'll check back with you guys because I have some work to do. Yay! So this will make my fourth 16 ounce. I will check back with you guys. I'm just checking in with you guys. It's 6.49 p.m. Still drinking my water. I have a little bit more of green tea. I still have my eggs here. So what I ate earlier, it was 45 grams of fat, 24 grams of protein, and zero carbs for 489 calories so far. So I ate those eggs without any fat, which I'm gonna put two tablespoons. Let's do it. Here we go. One more. Save. It would take me to 899 calories in today so it'll be under 900 calories if i get those down if i do i'll come back and let you guys know if i do any physical activities you guys will know because i will show you if i don't show you i didn't do so i melted my butter and i like to just douse my eggs look at all this goodness when i get done eating this it would bring me to the grand total of 899 calories eaten 84 grams of fat, 42 grams of protein, and zero net carbs. Woo -hoo! So I'm going to sit here and enjoy my eggs. Today has been great. No complaints at all. I will only drink 64 ounces of water. I would not drink more than 64 ounces. You have to be careful when you drink a whole bunch of water because it can throw your electrolytes off. And that's what I realized recently when I did the gallon of water for seven days. After I did that, I had my annual physical. When I got my blood drawn, I got a call back from my doctor because my potassium level was Hey guys, I've made it home. We're on a weight loss journey. I hope this video and my future videos motivate you to change your life. I know the keto diet works. It changes people. It changes things. It changes things around you. Some people you will lose along the way and some people you will gain. But I'm just here signing off. I want you guys to know that I am a little hungry. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you and say, oh, no, I'm good. The one thing that I do notice already <laughs> that comes along with in ketosis is that your breath starts stinking. Yeah, All right, I do have my meter. I do have a keto mojo meter. I have to stick with this keto diet because I've been vegan having blood pressure issues. I've been vegetarian and having blood pressure issues. I've been overweight as a vegan. I've been overweight as a vegetarian. So I don't know if I'm gonna turn into a carnivore or not. A keto carnivore. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what direction I want to go in. But on Monday, we will see because meat to me is too expensive. And if I don't have to buy it, that's one less thing that I have to worry about. It's a decision that I will make by Monday. I will have to plan out what meals that I will want to have. I have to do some research as far as what I want to like meal prep and stuff. So I can bring those videos to you guys as well. With me, if I meal prep, I will stay on track. If I don't meal prep, I'll be all over the place. I just have to keep it real. Sometimes I think I have ADHD. It is what it is. I do like the idea of taking like body shots every day so I can see when my body actually started changing. I know some people be weird about things. Wearing the same bra or underwear. Like I do have a washer and dryer here. 
I mean, I don't have 30 days worth of bras. I might, <laughs> I have a whole drawer full of them. I might have 30 days worth of bras. I don't know. Sometimes you have your favorite bras, like you have your sexy bras that you don't want to wear every day to work and you have like your work bras. For me, I like to be comfortable at work. I don't really like to be sexy at work, but I always think this in the back of my mind. I always like to have on a nice bra and nice underwear because you never know what will happen to you after you leave home. You get in an accident and the paramedic, I mean, granted, you in an accident, you might not never see that person again, but what happens if you do see them again? The Madam you so I want to see if they have a keto version of it. The last time that I was on the keto diet, I experienced constipation so that was another reason that i didn't want to stay on it i did learn that if i eat a lot of spinach i don't have a problem <laughs> i go to the bathroom just fine i am just rambling on i have to work tomorrow i don't know what time it is and i tie my hair up and i'm calling it a night ladies and gentlemen i'm looking forward to sharing my keto journey with you guys and if you guys have any tips or anything or anything you see I'm doing that's wrong, please let me know because I'm all right with constructive criticism, you know. I know some people say in the comments I'm rude, but I'm kind of blunt. I'm blunt in real life too. I don't sugarcoat things. I tell it how it is. When you've been married before and you walked on eggshells, you feel like you shouldn't walk on eggshells your whole life like you should be able to say i mean it, granted you can say whatever you want to but it's the way you say it sometimes i have a hard time like saying it nicely you know i just be short and don't, i honestly don't mean any harm by it now let's talk about some of the kind of side effects that you can experience from doing the keto egg fast now you can have an increase in hunger you can become irritable, you can have low energy, you can have sleep issues, you can experience nausea, poor mental function, weakness, headaches, and bad breath, of course. You can experience constipation. What I have experienced so far on my journey, after I got out the shower, it was strange because I was really hungry. I ended up going to bed early and that is why you didn't get this video uploaded because of my fear of eating something I had no business eating and the bad breath. I will see you guys on day two of my egg fast. Until then, bye guys.